Hello everyone. So today we'll talk about some important questions from the Hello Elkins and Hello Erins. So this video is for the state board or PU board students. Okay. So we'll talk about the important questions. So first question is what is SN2 mechanism? So in SN2 mechanism, what happened? SN2 first it means nucleophilic substitution by molecular. So what happened? One nucleophile will attack alkyl halide, and what happened? This chlorine will bond will be broken and this OH will be formed. So this is transition state. In this transition state, chlorine bond will be broken, OH bond will be formed, and then the final stage what happen? This chlorine will be removed and OH will be joined. The nucleophile which is removed, which is chlorine, is called as leaving group. Okay. So if we talk about the rate of the reaction, this reaction depend upon the concentration of both nucleophile as well as alkyl halide. So that's why order of the reaction is two. Next, this reaction happens in one step and if you look at the configuration here cl is on the right side but what happened oh comes on the left side so nucleophile position has changed we call it as inversion of the configuration and if we talk about the rate of the reaction primary alkyl halide will show the fastest and tertiary will show the slowest sn2 reaction why because in the primary there is less steric hindrance because there is only hydrogen so oh can easily attack so this is SN2 mechanism. Next question is what is difference between the allylic and the benzylic halides? First we talk about allylic halides. So these are the compound in which halogen atom is bonded to the sp3 hybridized carbon. So halogen is attached to sp3 carbon which is next to carbon carbon double bond. Suppose there is a halogen which is attached to carbon. This carbon is sp3. Okay. So this carbon is sp3 but this carbon is attached to another carbon which has double bond. Or you can see this example in this see this X group is attached to carbon this carbon is sp3 and it is attached to carbon which has double bond or sp2 carbon so these type of compounds all as allylic halides similarly you have benzylic in these compounds in which halogen atom is bonded to sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to benzene ring so this halogen is attached to carbon this carbon is sp3 and this is attached to the benzene ring so these are the two types of allylic and the benzylic halides okay in allylic halides there is double bond carbon that carbon is attached to carbon which halogen is attached and here benzene is attached to a carbon and to that carbon halogen is attached question three is iupac name of the following compound so here in benzene ring br is attached bromine is attached at the one three so if you give the number it is attached at the one three five position and these are the prefix so they will act as a substituent they will come so you will write 135 because they are 3 tribromo benzene is the name of the compound here chlorine is attached and there are two methyl groups are attached so you always take the longest chain and lowest number to the substituent you will number from here 1 2 3 because in alphabetical order c will come first chlorine then methyl so you will write 1 chloro 2 2 because there are two methyl groups which are present as substituent 2 2 dimethyl propane Next, if you look at this compound, benzene rings there with CH2, chlorine is attached. Now, chlorine is attached to CH2. So, remember, this benzene ring will, will become substituent and the name of the substituent is phenyl. Okay. So, if functional group was directly attached to the benzene ring, then you too would have taken it as benzene. But if it is not directly attached to the carbon chain, to this functional group, then it will taken as a phenyl. So, what you will take? Because chloro comes first, one chloro, one phenyl to this carbon, one chloro, one phenyl and one carbon is methane. Next, if you look at this compound, here you can give the numbering. It is one chloro, two carbon is there, eth and double bond is in. So it is one chloro, ethene is the name of this compound. Question number four is, what are geminal or vicinal halides and give example. First, we talk about geminal halides. These are dihalo compounds. So there are two halogen atoms. When two same halogens, halogen should be same, are present on the same carbon. So when halogen atom should be same and they are present on the same carbon, we call it as geminal halides or also called as gem halides. Next, we talk about the vicinal halides. So they are also a dihalo compounds where two same halogens are present on the adjacent carbon atom. So in vicinal halides, there are two same halogen atoms and they are present in the adjacent so next to each other these two halogens are present then we call it as vicinal halides question 5 is explain sn1 rea reaction or sn1 mechanism in this sn1 mechanism what happens suppose you have tertiary alkyl halide and you are reacting with the oh or nucleophile so what happened 
one nucleophile which is Br it is removed and OH will get attached you will get tertiary alcohol plus Br negative so if you look at this reaction this reaction happen in two steps so first what happened so suppose you have taken tertiary alkyl halide so first what happened because OH cannot attack this carbon why because it is surrounded by CH3 group and Br group it is electron rich group as a result nucleophile cannot attack so first this group Br will get removed so Br will remove and result in formation of Br negative remove result in formation of carbocation so first step is formation of carbocation and it is the slowest step and if you like look at the second step the attack of the nucleophile on carbocation so as soon as there is carbocation form so nucleophile will attack this carbon and result in a formation of the tertiary alcohol so if you look at the reaction this reaction happen in two step one is slow step and one is fast step and according to the rate so rate depend upon concentration only when it is present in the slow step okay so it will depend upon the concentration of the reactant in the slow step so rate will depend only upon the concentration of alkyl halide so order of the reaction because it is depending on only one so that's why order is one that's why we call it as nucleophilic substitution uni order reaction unimolecular reaction and if you look at the rate of the reaction rate of the reaction depend upon only the carbocation if stable is the carbocation rate will be faster so tertiary carbocation is the most stable so that's why rate of the reaction is tertiary is highest than secondary than primary so this is sn1 mechanism question number six is what are optical isomers and second question is what is asymmetrical carbon or stereocenter so what are optical isomers so a dextro and levorotatory isomer of a compound so one compound can be present in two forms one is called as dextro form one is called as levo form Dextro form remember it rotates the plane polarized light on the right side it is also given as plus sign and levo form will rotate on the left hand side okay and both are the optical isomers okay so one compound can be present as dextro or levo form next what is asymmetric carbon or stereocenter a carbon attached to four different substituent groups suppose there is a carbon and it is attached to four different substituent groups that group can be atom or any group suppose a b e d so it is attached to different groups so then this carbon is called as the asymmetric carbon or stereo center question number seven is how to convert benzene disonium salt into halo erine okay so first benzene disonium salt you can prepare using sand Meyers method and this reaction i have done in another video which is name reactions of the halo alkene halo erine alcohol phenol and ether and for the amine so you can watch that video for the preparation of the benzene disonium salt suppose you have benzene disonium salt then if you react with cu2cl2 it result in formation of chlorobenzene if you react with cu2br2 benzene disonium salt result in formation of bromobenzene and if you react with ki result in formation of idobenzene so you can prepare all three type of the haloarenes using this reactions question number eight is during dehydrohalogenation of two bromopentane pentene 2 in is the major product why suppose you have doing reaction you have two bromopentane so this is two bromopentane and you are doing dehydrohalogenation so one hydrogen and one halogen is removed and you use alcoholic koh so this is a type of elimination reaction so what happened br can remove from here and beta hydrogen can move from these two carbon so this carbon is beta so this carbon is called as alpha carbon these carbons are called as beta and hydrogens are called as beta so this br can get removed and these hydrogens can remove from here or here if it is removed from here you will get this product pent 2 in which is major product and if it is removed from here you get pent 1 in but remember pent 2 in is a major product why so we will use something called as said zeff rule according to this rule alkane having greater number of alkyl group attached to double bonded carbon atoms are stable so if you look at the double bonded carbon atom how many alkyl groups are attached here one alkyl group and one so there are two alkyl groups are attached and if you look at pent one e to double bonded carbon only one alkyl group is attached so as a result according to the sedzef rule pent two e is the stable product Question number nine is why aryl halides are extremely less reactive toward the nucleophilic substitution than the alkyl halides. Alkyl halides can easily do nucleophilic substitution reaction. But in aryl halides, if you look at the resonance, it show halogen will show plus R effect. Because of plus R effect, electron will move inside the benzene ring 
एंड एज ए रिजल्ट देर इज ए पार्शल डबल बॉन्ड बिटवीन द क्लोरिन एंड द कार्बन सो इन हेलोरिन इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर ऑन हेलोजन एटम आर इन कॉन्जुगेशन विद द पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ द रिंग एंड सी एल बॉन्ड ओके सो देर इज ए पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन देर इज कॉन्जुगेशन एंड इट एक्वायर पार्शल डबल बॉन्ड कैरेक्टर बिकॉज इट हैज ए पार्शल डबल बॉन्ड कैरेक्टर डबल बॉन्ड इज डिफिकल्ट टू ब्रेक सो इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड फॉर न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शन एज ए रिजल्ट बॉन्ड क्लीवेज इज डिफिकल्ट एंड न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शन डज नॉट हैपन ईजली सो दिस न्यूक्लियोफाइल विच इज क्लोरिन कैन नॉट बी ईजली रिप्लेस्ड नंबर टेन इज वट आर इन एंशुमर्स एंड वट आर रेसिमिक मिक्सर सो फर्स्ट इज एन एंशुमर द स्टीरो आइसोमर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर एज नॉन सुपर इम्पोजिबल मिरर इमेज सपोज ए कंपाउंड इज ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव एंड इट्स मिरर इमेज ओके विच इज नॉन सुपर इम्पोजिबल विल फॉर्म इन एंशुमर सो देर आर विल बी टू कंपाउंड वन विल रोटेट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड कॉल एज लिवो रोटेटिव एन अदर विल ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड तो दीज टू कंपाउंड आर टूगेदर कॉल्ड एज द इन एंशुमर्स नेक्स्ट वट इज रेसिमिक मिक्सचर ए मिक्सचर कंटेनिंग टू एन एंशुमर सपोज you have two enantiomers in equal proportion so suppose you have one compound dextro form and levo form in equal means 50 50% proportion so as a result what they will do dextro will try to rotate on the right hand side and levo on the left hand side as a result they will cancel each other optical rotation so this mixture is called a racemic mixture and it has zero optical rotation question number 11 is first part is arrange the following halides which is R B R R C L R F and R I in the increasing order of their boiling point. And second, in isomeric dihalides, the para isomers have high melting point as compared to ortho, uh, ortho or meta. First, we talk about if you arrange these alkyl halides. So what happen? R I will have the highest boiling point as compared to R F five. As you go go down the group, size increases, and because of the size increases. van der waal force of attraction increases and down the group boiling point will increase next if we talk about the para isomer we are talking about isomeric dihalides dihalides we are talking about para isomer if you look at a para isomer it is more symmetrical in nature as compared to ortho and meta and as a result it will fit better in a crystalline lattice so we are talking about melting point so it will be in solid form so in solid form it they are present in the form of crystal and para crystal will be para form will be more suited or it will be more symmetrical in the crystalline lattice as a result para is more stable it has higher melting point question number 12 is you have to convert chlorobenzene to phenol so remember this is nucleophilic substitution reaction and it is very difficult to do so that's why in this reaction you will take noh and temperature will be very high which is 623 kelvin pressure will be of again high of 300 atmosphere and then you will react with the acid which is h plus so if you give all this reagent it result in formation of the phenol so chlorine will get replaced by the oh group question number 13 first part is expand expand ddt second is what are freons give example so first first compound is ddt so remember ddt was used as a insecticide okay so this name of ddt is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane so that's why ddt has come next if we talk what are pheromones pheromones are nothing but they are fluoro and chloro compounds of methane and ethane collectively are called as pheromone suppose you have methane or ethane in this hydrogen is replaced by the chlorine or the fluorine these compounds are called as pheromone like c c l2 f and f2 and because of the pheromone there is presence of the ozone hole so these pheromones can react with the ozone and they can cause ozone hole Question fourteen is how do you prepare chloroalkane using alcohol and PCl five and second is how you can prepare chloroalkane using thionyl chloride and what is the advantage of this method? Suppose you have taken alcohol and you are reacting with PCl five, it result in formation of RCl, HCl and POCl three. So with alcohol you can form RCl. Next, if you are taking thionyl chloride with alcohol, which is SOCl two, it result in formation of RCl, SO two and HCl. so why this method is more advantageous because in this method there are two gases which are bio product by product and these key gases can be easily removed so when these two gases are easily removed you will get a pure alkyl chloride number 15 part 1 is nitration of chlorobenzene second is methylation of chlorobenzene and name the reaction suppose you have chlorobenzene nitration means you are using nitrating mixture of hno3 and h2so4 
then what happen NO2 positive will get attached to the chlorobenzene at the ortho or para position ortho position compound is called as 1 chloro 2 nitrobenzene and this para is called as 1 chloro 4 nitrobenzene and remember para will be the major product so these type of reaction are called as electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction next suppose you have chlorobenzene and you are reacting with the CH3Cl in presence of AlCl3 so anhydrous AlCl3 you will use so this reaction whenever you are taking alkyl halide in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 we will call this reaction as the Friedel-Crafts alkylation so here alkyl group we can attach we are talking about methylation so suppose you have CH3Cl so CH3 plus ion will be formed this Cl will be taken by the AlCl3 so CH3 plus ion which is electrophile will get attached at the ortho or para position. So you will get first compound 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene, second compound is 1 chloro 4 methyl benzene and because para position is more stable so it will be the major product. So this reaction is friedel craft alkylation reaction. I hope you understood all the questions. For the name reaction what you can do you in the description I will share a link of another video you can see the name reactions also in the next class. Bye.